Today, I'm gonna be asking Dubai millionaires how they got rich. So let's get started with the first one. We're starting off with the one and only, you guys know who this is, bro. Look at this, bro. Can you guys guess whose house we're in right now? We're at Mo Vlog's house, bro, the YouTuber of Dubai. As you enter, you see a Mustang right over here, and you see a Nissan Patrol, and you got a Bentley and a Lamborghini, and we have the main man over here, bro, Mo Vlog's. How you doing, bro? How's everything? Doing good? Nice meeting you, bro. So, bro, I have one question for you. Yeah. How did you get rich? What did did you do well um i just made lots of videos where, of videos where did you make those videos on youtube on youtube that, that was your main source of income like when you first got rich wasn't it yeah exactly i started with youtube pumped out videos and just adsense all the way you started with youtube right yeah and you got all these cards from youtube for all those people saying that youtube money is not real and what, what would you say to them? It is. It's very real. <laughs> <laughs> what would one advice be for a person who wants to start doing YouTube? Is it still possible in 2023 to get big on YouTube? What would you advise them? Look, I'm going to say this. You can make a lot of money on YouTube, but you can make a lot of money everywhere. If you're starting YouTube just for money, most likely you're not going to make any money. I'm going to be honest. Like, YouTube is one of those things, like, unless you really are passionate about it, you're not really going to get far. But it is possible. I'm not saying it's not, but there's also tons of other ways to make money. So if you just don't like YouTube, don't do YouTube for money like you can do anything else for money but I think everyone just sees YouTube and people making money so they think that's like the only way it's not but if you enjoy YouTube you can make tons of money so if for example YouTube was not an option for me in 2023 what would be the best way to start making money uh I mean it just depends on what you enjoy you know literally it could be anything guys like if you're someone that doesn't like being on camera you can record videos for others I don't know you can start a TikTok agency if you're someone that just likes being on a computer you can do drop shipping you can do courses I mean, these are just ideas I'm saying, which are very known ideas, but you can do it. You can do real estate. I don't know. For God's sake, you like property, go buy houses, sell houses, be an agent. Anything you do, you can make tons of money. It's just do something you actually enjoy doing. I appreciate it, bro. Thanks, man. Have a nice day. All right, guys, for this next person's story, we came all the way over here. The Burj Khalifa, bro, the tallest building in the world. You guys see that Rolls Royce right over there in the distance, bro? Salam alaikum, brother. How are you? How's everything? Are you doing good? Very good, my bro. Nice to meet you again. I'm over here with our brother, Carlos. So guys, our brother over here, Carlos, you know what? Let me just let him say his life story and everything. So how did you get started with, you know, earning money? How did you get started with work and business and everything? So I stopped studying in high school when I was 15, actually. I quit high school when I was 15. Wow. I started just doing business, traveling the world. And uh, yeah, I was just always trying to come up with uh, what is going to be the next thing that I make money from. There was one common theme, which is that I was happy without much. I grew up with not much, but I was also happy with more. And I think that is the key, you know? I've realized, like, you know, when you're grateful for what you have, but you always try to do better and try to get more, that's when you get more as well. That's when God so, blesses you, you know? One one thing is most important, to be grateful for what you have. That's yeah. why you say, alhamdulillah, for everything. You win the lottery now. Yeah. You say, oh, I'm so happy. Yeah, but what if the lottery drives you to become addicted to gambling, for example? Hmm. What if you actually lose your job? that you really need. Is it really bad news? Well, what if losing that job made you think creatively about what kind of business you can build and then you become a millionaire as a result? You're Is it right. really bad or good? You never know. You're right. People that grew up rich, they're like 30 years old and they're completely lost. They didn't make the money. You're so they right. They didn't develop the skills to be able to make their money, their parents did. If you had to give the people watching over here, the young people, one way right now in 2023, really good way of w making money, what would you advise them? The good thing is that unlike back in the days, you don't have to be physically present in a specific place to make the money. Online, you can do pretty much everything. But there's just so many ways to make money right now. It's just about figuring out what your skill set is. And trust me, your first business will likely not make any money. Your second business will likely not make any money. Eventually, you'll get it right. Like if I tell you right now, I know nothing about pencils at the same time I tell you I could create the best pencil company in the world those two things seem disconnected but is the truth why is that because I can just get started tomorrow and in one day after 24 hours I will know more than I know today about selling pencils first I have to put together the website I have to figure out who my competition is who else is selling pencils and why do they sell pencils what type of, what type of pencils are they selling you're so right yeah it's about deploying the time you need to have conversations with people that know more than you consume this information digest it and learn from them and you need to have the actual practice doing things so that you also deploy those things you have learned into the businesses into whatever you're doing and see the results does it work? Does it not work? Why? Somebody that's very funny will sell you a product by maybe being funny. Somebody that is very serious but very trustworthy will sell you a product differently. There's no one size fits all. You're so right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 
Guys, right now I came over here to one of my good friend's office, K9 unit. Assalamu alaikum brother, how are you? How's everything? Are you doing good? How's everything? MashaAllah. Guys, this is Fahad and this is Muhammad Majdi right over here. These guys, MashaAllah, they grew, they got so much successful in UAE over like, you know, the last two, three years. Where'd you guys come from? Where'd you guys, you know, where are you guys from and everything? I'm from Pakistan. Majdi over here, he's half Sudanese, half from Marathi. We were based in Sharjah. I'm Abu Shagara kid. He's a Mahatta kid. Mahatta kid. MashaAllah. And like, how did you guys become successful? Like, what business model did you guys choose? What did you guys do? The steps that you guys took to become successful? Like, everything like that, you know? I mean, we've been doing part-time jobs since we came out of the womb. Every single job that there's possible in the market. Me and Majdi, you know, we were working in Jitex together in 2014. And we even delivered biryani in a van for mosques during Ramadan as a part-time job. We never said no to a job. MashaAllah. You climb the ladder slowly, you meet people, and eventually we chose media as our way of working. And we opened this company together. It's been three years, alhamdulillah. For example, there's people that do drop shipping. There's people that do, uh, you know, like e-commerce. And there's people that like open up a restaurant or go, go into physical business. What's that specific business model that you guys chose? We chose a service business where we provide a service to another client or to another company. Uh, there was a gap in the market in 2020. There was a lot of marketing companies and the results weren't as great. We found a gap where people were not doing organic content creation, where you post a video and you don't need to pay for ads and you still get the views and then they go viral. So we were able to achieve like our first viral video in the UAE, which reached 7 million views. And from there, everything else was history. MashaAllah. So what would you advise the people that are watching this right now in 2023? If they were to choose one business model and stick to it until they became successful, what would you guys advise them? It's a very subjective uh, topic, you know, because not social media is not for everyone. Like if you were to get into this business today in 2023, for some people, it'll be amazing because that's as per their personality and their capacity to do this work. So I wouldn't say go for what we say as as a business fix a problem in the market fix a problem in the market like we saw a gap and we we provided a solution to that you can do that as well We're, you're good with drop shipping but everyone's doing drop shipping in a certain way and you can bring a unique twist to it who knows mashallah and how many countries are you guys operating in now uh qatar uae and saudi arabia so that's three countries mashallah yeah. find a problem in the market fix it and i always say this dubai is the easiest place to become a millionaire because they gave you the road you just have to find the car and start driving Guys, Dubai is the easiest place to become a millionaire. If you live in Russia or in Europe or anywhere else, move to Dubai, bro. I don't know what it takes. If you have to swim over here, swim over here, bro. Yeah. And the legal way, though. <laughs> Guys, I just came to the office of one of my friends. He is just 19 years old and he has an office of his own, bro. MashaAllah. Bismillah. Yo. Bro, what happened bro? You okay? But yeah guys, so I'm over here in the office of my brother Ihsan. MashaAllah, look at his office. He has big lighting, a big office. MashaAllah, nice looking, nice looking Kandura bro. And nice looking what? Nice looking Rolex as well. <laughs> Is the Patek Philippe 901 limited edition? It looks like Patek Philippe 8888. No, that's the, that's the fake one. Just oh, okay. One. Okay, yeah, okay, it's okay. It's like three in the world only. Okay. It's just kind of dope. I can just take it off your hand as well, right? <laughs> yeah. They didn't think about that though. <laughs> The people want to know, bro. So where did you start and what, what business model did you choose to become successful? And how did it go? Tell us your journey throughout. So there's a picture of me literally working at the Kateri shop. When I used to do photography for that shop, it used to be Ramadan, you know, break my fast. And then run to the shop, literally film videos for the shop. But again, I never thought where I am today, but just because I took action, it literally made me take the next step, the next step, the next step. So for you, the first thing is to take the first step. If you don't take the first step, you will never see the time step or 11th step you know and that's how life is you know life is a journey life starts with the first step you know you start with literally crawling and then you start walking and then you start running you know you can't just run from the start so a lot of people you know think that success is coming out of the blue and it's quick and it's easy well if you think about it it does take a few years and the journey is what matters a lot like this whole journey of me building a brand new business and all of that stuff is something that I enjoy and it's something that you should enjoy too even if you're starting from scratch from literally nothing you know because this whole thing will be a fun journey for you. So I do dropshipping myself and Alhamdulillah I teach other people how to do dropshipping and uh, I've been doing it for the past three years and Alhamdulillah it's been doing amazing. And you said you do dropshipping and you started it three years ago, right? Yeah. A lot of people are going to be like dropshipping is haram and everything. What do you have to say to them? All right, so the way that I do it is very, very, very simple, right? Now let's just say this is a winning product and I found this product. How do I make this halal and make this 100% 
um, you know, credible. So the first thing that I do is I test this product and show it to the people without getting the money from them. So what do I do? I use cash on delivery, which means that even if the customer orders, they have not paid me a single dirham here in Dubai, especially that's how it works. So they have not paid me anything unless and you know until i do not give them this product and i deliver it to their house through my courier services which we have unless they haven't received the product we do not get the money so it, which makes it transactional and every single business works this exact same way you know so by what i understand you get your products shipped in over here and then you sell it exactly so it's basically like a mix of e-commerce and drop shipping exactly. so it's halal exactly 100 that's how we do it and alhamdulillah we just launched our new shopify app autodrop and that's what's going to be making you do drop ship but in an e-commerce that you're doing basically e-commerce but drop shipping here in dubai because we will take care of the products for you here in dubai like we'll be your middleman as a, as a supplier and we'll help you fulfill all of your orders inshallah. So for someone that lives in Dubai or anywhere in the world and they want to start dropshipping, what advice would you give them? Is there a place where they can go, where they can learn or something? I mean, if you want to get started, literally start by today. I mean, the journey is not easy, of course, especially when it comes to the UAE. It's very hard for people to understand how dropshipping works here because there's, there's not even a single YouTube tutorial that goes in depth. Like I've made tutorials myself, but they do not, get, they do not go in depth as much as of course there's a mentorship for it and alhamdulillah we are almost the only mentorship here in dubai that we you know teach everyone how to do dropshipping the most halal and the most proper way if you guys are interested um you know you guys can visit our discord uh, which is called hustlers you come and inshallah you guys can get an idea there you guys go i'm gonna leave all the links in the description so of brother ehsan and uh, how he teaches dropshipping i'm gonna leave all the links in the description if you guys want to learn how to dropship and everything and uh, yeah that's pretty much it